In a fairly empty chambers, all eyes were on Tamika Palmer as she anxiously waited for legislation to pass in her daughter's honor. All Brianna wanted to do was save lives. So it's important this law passes because with that, she'll get to continue to do that even in her death. It aims to make sure what happened to her daughter never happens in this city again. It is the right thing to do to pass the Brianna Taylor law tonight in Louisville, Kentucky, and be the example of moral, compassionate, responsible leadership for America to follow. On March 13th, Brianna Taylor was killed by LMPD officers serving a search warrant. The unit that served the warrant was issued a no-knock warrant, but a decision had been made previously to knock first. LMPD officer John Mattingly and Taylor's boyfriend, Kenneth Walker, say police did knock, but there are still questions about whether police announced themselves. Thursday, Metro Council had their own clear announcement. This is the most significant legislation that I've had the opportunity to work on. Banning no-knock warrants in the city of Louisville. The ordinance also requires waiting a minimum of 15 seconds after knocking and announcing their presence when serving a warrant. Officers must wear body cameras, turning them on five minutes before and off at least five minutes after its execution. There will be penalties for failing to follow these new guidelines. Tonight, we're going to pass this law. Before taking a vote, Metro Council President David James tearfully presented the family with a copy of Brianna's yes. law. Council then Member one Tripler. by one. Yes. Council Member Reed. Yes. Council Member Winkler. Yes. Taylor's mom hears one after yes. another, nothing Brianna. but yeses. Mr. President, you have 26 yes votes and zero no votes. Thank you. Congratulations. The ordinance passes. A small moment of relief in the midst of a mother's grief. So we're grateful for that. She would be so, she's, she would be so happy. 